Hi friends, Pawan asked a question about troubleshooting or debugging the W3WP process at live using the dump file. This is somehow an advanced topic and related to Windows troubleshooting and memory debugging and so on. But in this lecture, I want to show you how to illustrate this practically in order to debug your own process and, ha and have an overview about this concept. So the first thing you have to do is to search for download debugging tools for Windows. And let's open the link and here we are. And just now click on download the installer to download the SDKs or the Windows SDK. After downloading, just open the setup. Here it is, it's the Windows Software Development Kit. You can click on install and click on next. And let's don't send anything now and click on next I accept and here we have a list of the features or the tools that you can install using this setup what we need here just the debugging tools so uncheck everything and just keep the debugging tools for Windows this contains the Windows debugger that we are going to use to debug the dump file of our process just click install and wait for the installation to finish all right here we are the installation finished let's close this and now let's search for WinDBG as you can see this is the WinDBG and this is the Windows debugger that we are going to use to debug our process but before opening this and running the debugger let's now open IS manager and see what we have here I have some sites here Let's open a certain website to test the debugging process. All right, let's open my Chrome browser and I will open a website that I was developing one time. Here it is, I open it. And now let's open the task manager and go to details. And here you must have the w 3 w exit process as you can see here. This is it and it's running under IS user. Now let's say this website has a certain problem or it's suspended, it's rebooted, anything and you want to create a dump file for this process to debug. Just right click here and click on create dump file. As you can see the file has been successfully created. It's located here in the C users and the tab directory here. Let's open this directory. Let's copy it and open file explorer let's exit and here we are we must have a dump file here it is w3wp.dmp let's copy this file let's close now task manager on my website and I will put this file on my desktop here and here it is now this is the file that we are going to use to debug this process this is called the memory dump. This is everything related to your process that was saved into your memory in the state where the process was dumped or created a dump file for it in the, pro in the state where your process died or, or maybe suspended or any problem happened on it. All right, now let's open the Windows debugger. I will open File Explorer again and let's open this directory i will open c program files windows kits debuggers and be sure to select the appropriate architecture in my case it was it's windows 10 x64 architecture so run the windows WinDBG x64 and here we are and it's better to run as administrator to elevate as a full permission all right so this is the windows debugger now we have to configure it and do some basic configuration. So the first thing I will do is to set the symbols path. Just click on file, select symbol file path and paste the symbol path. You can find these paths in the attached document to copy and paste if you want to use in your own environment. Simply the symbols path is an online path used to get the explanation or the interpretation of the 
hexadecimal values and the memory values and so on i don't want to go into details it's a separate concept and it need more details and it has a lot a lot of explanations but now just go with me just to understand the concept so paste the symbols path and click ok now to save this information just click on file and click on save workspace now the symbols path will be saved whenever you use this debugger now simply to debug the file click on file and open crash dump navigate to desktop and here is my dump file click open and let's expand this and it will start downloading the symbols file path and analyzing your dump file so just wait a little bit for this operation to finish you can see the downloading symbols just wait for it it needs some time for the first time to finish this operation all right the operation finished let's increase the font size as you can see we have no information since this was only a dump file of a working process and there is nothing here there is no errors or anything so for that i close the debugger and let's run it again and i prepared a memory dump file which has uh, some errors let's open it now file open crash dump file and on the desktop i have this file here all right so the analysis is finished and as you can see here we can see the, that the problem is probably caused by this driver my fault that says this is uh, simply as an example only and uh, there is nothing called my fault dot sys this error i generated just to make things more clear so you can now check this driver or this file and see what's wrong with this file and you can fix your problem and continue troubleshooting of course this analysis and this debugging process has a lot of command lines you, you can go more in deep and analyze more and more to get more details but this is how you can basically troubleshoot any dump file created by a process or maybe a blue screen on windows and so on i hope the idea is somehow now clear and please, if you have any questions, you need more details, I will be here to help you. Just contact me and I will be with you. This was a small lab on answering my friend's question about dumping a process and analyzing and debugging the process to check what is the problem. So in this way, you can just search Google for this driver and see some fixes around it. And the last note I want to mention here in the IS Manager you go to application pools let's select one and click on advanced settings here we have the pros orphaning i mentioned that in the application pool section but just to remind you you can set this option to enabled then if the process had an error and stopped it will be set as orphaned and not terminated so this feature can help in debugging the process it will be stuck in the task manager so you can create a dump file and do whatever you want also you can run an executable here to create a dump file automatically for this process whenever the process dies or has a certain error that's it for this question i hope the idea is now clear thank you for following and see another lecture